Good morning, folks. I apologize. We're about 40 minutes behind schedule as I was watching a magnetic flux area on the sun that looked like it would produce a larger flare. It did not. We're coming right over to spaceweathernews.com and checking out the last day on our star. Active regions continued to produce what appears to be ejecta. Between the main central grouping and the active area to the south, we've seen a couple of pops that merit a look at coronagraphs to see if ejecta came out, but first, quick look at the far side of the sun with stereo to confirm no eruptions came off that half of the sun, so everything in the coronagraphs is coming off our side here. Very, very faint, but multi-directional plasma clouds you see here are actually part of a system of eruptions that together form a weak halo, and we can be sure that those added to the streams that are on their way to Earth. However, we are also expecting those streams to be from coronal holes, and those may end up being too robust for the CME to do much of anything, and in fact, CMEs may simply integrate into the more intense coronal hole streams. Let's look at the sunspots. Got a new grouping top left, and right now the big guy is still worth monitoring for flares as well. Trailing guy has beta polarity and a good spread in its adolescence. Despite the amazing rise in sunspot number this week, the earth-facing quiet shield is holding quite well as the sun can't even make an M-class flare, let alone X-class. Minor C flares only, and the solar wind is utterly calm right now, so the coronal hole impacts expected this week will be easily noticeable. Magnetic storms could be expected, but we are seeing our field fail to block plasma upon ionization by that small C flare this morning. Hopefully that ends here soon. I was hoping for more information to come out about this from Saturday night, but I suppose we're just going with a wildly out-of-place earthquake here. The situation on the other side of the continent remains impressively lucky as these storms seem to want to stay far away from land as much as possible. Eyes on these and a small cyclone in the Indian Ocean heading for Madagascar. North Carolina, you have experienced one of those too much rainfall to be logical events. More on weather here at the close, and as always, shots of our star. A couple more days at this sunspot, and then we're in the clear again for a while, but we're watching now. It's almost 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.